G'day, John Canny here. Well, we're continuing our 5,000 kilometre trip in the brand new Grenadier. We finally get off the seal and onto the dirt and we're going to rattle its bones. So uh, let's go. Okay, so we've hit the uh, unsealed road and it's pretty corrugated. So I'm going to let the tyres down a bit. Uh, we're running about, they're sitting on about 44 in the back and about 41 in the front at this temperature. So I'm going to drop this one down to about 34 and about 30 in the front. So I'm using a ARB tyre deflator, pretty good system. These tyre deflators actually pull the valve out. So you put that in and unscrew the valve, like so, the valve stem. And then once you've done that, yes, that's how you deflate it. Okay, so we've got 41 and a half in there at this temperature, so let's drop it down. So uh, that's 29 and a half, no, 30 now. Uh, might just drop it. Uh, might leave it at 30 and see how we go. Okay, so then you've got to screw the stem back in. Once that's in, you can undo this. Take her off, put the cap back on. but so far so good. So we've been uh, on the unsealed road now for about half an hour and this is really the first uh, first little run off, off the sealed roads. This has been a pretty rough track here so it's getting a good test out. Um, the corrugations are, are pretty deep and uh, it's, it's running us around a fair bit. But I will say, we've dropped the tyre pressures down. I'm running about 34 at the back and about 30 at the front, uh, where I was at 41 and 44. Uh, and that's made a, a difference. The ride is really good considering the roughness and the number of corrugations here. So uh, happy with the ride and the noise level. Um, yeah, so we'll see if anything falls off, but uh, at this stage nothing's falled off. This is a actually a road train route as well, so we've got to be a little bit careful here. And uh, uh, car and van, until we go bound. We're just letting them know every now and then that we're on this track because I don't want to be confronted by a 100 foot long road train. train so someone's acknowledged there that we're on the track which is good. Yeah, phone beef on that mate. as well. Okay. That's what a, is that a 50% error rate or a 100% error rate? No, it's like 50. <laughs> Only 50, oh, it's not too bad for my navigator. <laughs> oh well, so it's somewhere between 20 and 40 k's is what you're saying. <laughs> That's exactly right. Okay, sounds good, we'll keep going. In the outback, what difference does it make? <laughs> True. So how are you finding the road over these corrugations, Leo? I'm finding it very comfortable actually. The pressures have reduced. The tyres, yeah, dropping down the tyres makes a big difference, no, doesn't it? Big difference. 
Yeah, it also looks after your tyres a bit more, of course. Yeah. And we all know that. Okay, well, we'll keep going. And uh, you'll keep an eye on, <laughs> on the maps. Oh, I will. Okay. So pretty dry here at the moment, no water over this causeway, but uh, you can see how easily it would uh, flow over the top of the road here. Not a drop to be seen. Might keep your eye on the road too, wouldn't you? Electric fan still running there. Yeah, we're not getting any stones up, which is good. Fan makes a lot of noise, though. Everything looks intact. We pull up tonight. Um, I'll have a really good look at uh, at everything, but uh, I'm not hearing any bad rattles or bangs. So let's open up the kitchen of this uh, little van of ours and get some food out. Oh, you've got a messy kitchen, I tell you. So we'll just have a little look at the countryside around here. So a quick snack of saladas with a bit of strays and a bit of cheese. What could be better? Mm. some interesting caves and things that we're going to have a look at there so oh, these roads are pretty rough as you can hear it Some old cars there. Some bounce around there. That's where you get fuel out in the bush. Ah, look what we've got here. A mess.
Oh, I reckon that's only a big nozzle. finally here. Got 560 kilometres of it to, to go. It's pretty rough I'm told. But first stop is the Mungara mine where we'll have a look at some uh, Aboriginal artwork and have a look through some caves. We're on our way. This is the start of it. This is it Leah. Maybe not. Oh no, let's keep going. It's pretty warm here, about 33, 34 degrees. further along the track in the next what's the time what's the time now two o'clock close enough to we get going to maybe, perhaps do another hour maybe get somewhere near the river <laughs> We found our camp spot for tonight. It's a pretty, pretty attractive spot. We're going to go and have a swim. It's where we are, set up there. We're going to go and have a swim. So, put my swimming trunks on for once. <laughs> Let's go. Well, this is pretty good.
Gee, it's nice and warm, isn't it? It's certainly hot. Mm -hmm. Okay. Who's cooking tonight? Me again? Of course, John. <laughs> oh, this is a bit of a boys' barbecue tonight. We've relaxed. We've had uh, a beer. Well, actually two. And uh, we're cooking these hamburgers on the fire and it's getting dark. It's beautiful here. It's peaceful. There's nobody around. My God, this is the life, eh? How's it going, Leo? It's going well. I'm getting, I'm getting the salad out. <laughs> okay. Oh, you're doing the salad, Leo? Yeah, I'm doing the salad. Yeah. And what will the salad consist of? Will consist of one dill pickle. Oh, well, that's not a bad salad. That's right. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Look. Wait a minute. There. There's one for you. Oh, Leo's There's doing one, the salad. <laughs> okay. <for you. laughs> I'll do the main course over here on the fire and uh, we'll enjoy it. I've got the fire going and I'm about to go and have a morning swim in the creek. There's our fire, got the billy on there to get some water. Oh, morning swim in here looks beautiful. Make your eggs for breakfast, Leo. Okay. I'll be eating in a minute. 